Welcome back to the VDC Grape to Glass story. We joined here at Caribib by Antonio from Africa Seller Supplies to talk a little bit about glass. Antonio, thanks, thanks for joining. Thank you for having me. And I'd love to hear what kind of perspective you'd have on the wine industry being a supplier of glass and many other inputs into the production process for so many years. I think the first thing is to understand the, the depth of the wine industry. I mean, it's an old industry. It's one that uh, predates uh, recorded history. It's uh, a, a blend of science, art, and modern business. And from that, you know, we compete with all types of other beverages out there. And we have to be constantly innovating the types of packaging to better dress the customer's products. And innovation obviously comes with the requirement of having a good relationship with your, with your supplier, with your customers. Tell us a bit about what relationships and how important those are in your industry. The wine industry's a, you know, got a, a, a different type of relationship than I've seen in other industries. This industry is one where you have a, a high, highly competitive environment, but at the same token, you've got a, a depth of, of fellowship. People work for a common goal, they solve problems together. Uh, customers that we work with, we form those relationships over years. Uh, we see our role to try and best, best dress their products. And the better that we do the, the, you know, our job, the more that they can perform on their side. So leading ACS must be a pretty tricky role. You've got to manage this relationship with, with an industry that kind of works together and competes. Have you experienced how these relationships really have formed and how they help you to find new business and grow your own business? Yes, I mean, I remember sitting with Johan Milan in 2011 when he was celebrating 40 years of Carbs of Fonkel and the first bubbies made in South Africa. And he was saying to me that, you know, my father supplied his father, Franz Milan, the first bubby bottles. And that brought home to me just how uh, multi-generational this industry is and how these relationships are formed over years. Um, from our perspective or my perspective, you know, when I look at the company, I realize my role is to lead a, a strong team. I want my team to be uh, uh, multidisciplinary and being able to go out to see customers and do everything from solving the problems with them to innovating the packaging with them and dressing their products in the best way possible. So Antonio, tell me, with this relationship, it must be a really crucial part of your business to solve the requirements of, meet the requirements of your suppliers. Tell us a bit about how that worked in the relationship with VDC. Now, we see our role as being able to put together a complete solution for customers. Um, that way we also form a relationship that spans years. And in this instance, VDC approached us, they were looking for a burgundy bottle. They wanted one that would uh, be a family, meaning that we had a 750ml and, and a Magnum as well. And we went through the different options with them. And from that evolved the choices that they made. And in terms of the 750ml, they chose the bottle that's called the Emotion Bottle. Um, fitting considering that uh, wine is such a passionate industry. And uh, we partnered that with the Magnum to keep the look and feel of the brand. Um, in terms of Magnums, it's an uh, important part of the of the wine experience because while a wine ages under 750 mil one way, in a Magnum it's a much slower evolution. You know, we've got uh, uh, less oxygenation of the product and therefore over a longer period of time uh, a more subtle influence taking place and after five years you enjoy the product in a different way. It sounds fantastic and it's a beautiful looking glass. I can't wait to see what this looks like as a finished product. But thank you very much for your time Antonio. And for now, we're going to go and join Guillaume up in the cellar and see what he's been up to.